There are three main ways of configuring printing in a Citrix environment. In the computer room back here, I have my Citrix Metaframe servers. I also have some servers in the room that have nothing to do with Citrix, file and print servers. Out through the router, I support a bunch of workstations with a ver variety of operating systems. There are also network printers for most of the people, HPs, Inject Direct cards. Some of the users have access to the Jet Directs, so and they also have access to their own personal printers in the LPT port. Out through the internet, support home users with whatever operating system they've got and whatever printer model in whatever port. The three main ways of configuring printing in the Citrix environment are the local printers, which is where you walk up to a Citrix server and simply create the printers either in the local or the network port. Those printers are clearly available for everyone. There's the much more commonly used option of auto-created client printers, where whatever is in the client printer's machine, whether in the local or the network port, will automatically be given to the user when they connect up to the Citrix environment. So in this case, the HP 6L and the HP 4SI on Windows 98 machine would both be automatically created on one of the Citrix servers when that client made their ICA connection to that Citrix server. And that's where the job would spool and out through the ICA channel, the print output would be redirected. A middle option, which is neither local printing nor auto-created printers, is called network and session printing. This is where a shared printer on some network print server is imported into the Citrix environment. These shared printers are then given out through Presentation Server Console policies, and they're referred to as session printers. I can set up a policy, assign it to a set of IP addresses on a certain floor, and have only that network printer appear when users log in from the devices on the second floor. The steps to setting up one of these printers would be a matter of first importing the network print server which held these network printers. Then there would be the important step to be carefully managed of adding print drivers. And this is where we'd have to research the appropriate driver for terminal service environment. We'd install the driver on one of the Citrix servers and then replicate that driver via IMA using the presentation server console. And assuming this driver is not exactly the driver on the workstation device, we'd then have to map the driver in the presentation server console to the actual network printer. Um, finally, what I'm going to show you here is how I configure a presentation server console print policy for session printing once that p imported session printer is available. The first thing I actually have to do then is import my network printer. I'm going to the presentation server console, I'm going to the printer management node. This is the network print servers tab. I'm going to right click and import a network print server. The name of the server's enterprise I'm going to use an account that's a domain admin and a Citrix admin. And I'm going to authenticate to it. And right away, we've brought in the print server. Its last updated time is just now. And we don't have a current, current connection to the server. It was simply a one-time snapshot. More importantly than having the server here, under the printers tab now, I've brought in the three HP laser jets that I had defined out on the print server. As I said, the next step would have to be adding drivers. There are still no drivers that are corresponding to these printers added to the farm, and that would have to be taken care of. And then I'm going to do another video. What I want to do now is move into the part where I add the session printer policies to the farm. So the first printer happens to be <coughs> on, a f on the first floor. I'm going to create a policy, policy for the first floor. Of the three printers I've imported, one is on each floor. This is the policy for the first floor, and I'll be assigning it to IP addresses. But first, I'm going to go into the properties of this printer policy. Under Properties, under Printing, there's a Session Printers tab. I'm going to Enable Session Printers. I'm going to click the Add button. And the raw material I have here for Session Printers is the list of network printers that I just imported. Now I happen to know that it's the HP Color Laser Jet on the first floor in the building, so I'm going to pick that one and click OK. Now at the bottom of this policy, I can choose to make this the default printer for whoever I apply this policy to by hitting the drop-down menu and choosing this as the default printer. I also can leave it alone, say don't adjust whatever the user's default printer was ahead of time, or I can go ahead and set the client's main printer to be the default printer. In this case, I'm going to make the HP Color LaserJet the default on this floor. 
I also have the option to click the settings button and saying that by default when you're on the first floor and you get this printer it's going to print out legal it's going to print out saving ink in 150 dpi and I've decided it's going to default to landscape I can decide to make these changes here finally I click OK and I have not yet applied this policy to anyone as I said I decided to apply this policy to machines rather than users and machines on the first floor in this case, let's say the first floor is defined by the 192.168.1.0 subnet. So I'm going to go to the client IP address filter. Tell it I want to filter based on client IPs. And I'm going to add in the subnet I know refers to our first floor, 192 192.168.1.1.192.168. .1.254. These would be all the machines on the first floor of the building and this is what I'm applying this policy to. When I click OK, now anyone, anyone logging in from the first floor subnet should expect to see their default printer as the HP Color LaserJet.